Hey folks, Nick Donatelli here and welcome back to the Houdini for MoGraph series. Today we'll be going over how to make this ink and water type of effect. First we'll do a smoke simulation, which is the first time we're ever going over smoke, so that's exciting. And then we'll run a particle simulation using the smoke to drive the motion. I could just keep going over how we're going to do it, but instead let's just get into it. First, drop a sphere set to polygon to use as our emitter. Next, make a pyro source node. Change the mode to surface scatter. And hit the plus on the attributes twice to make two new attributes. So we're going to make the first one density. And the second one temperature. Now drop an attribute noise node and type in density and temperature and change the type to float. Then change the range values to min and max, setting it from negative 1.5 to 1.5. Last, scroll down to animation and check on animated noise. Next, we'll create velocity, so make an attribute create node. And in PyroSims, we use the attribute vel instead of v for velocity, so type that. And change the size to 3 to make it a vector. And just give it a value of 0.5 in the y to push it up a little. Now, to make this something readable as smoke, make a volume rasterize attributes node. Type the three attributes, density, temperature, and vel up here in the top. And I'm just going to bring the particle scale and voxels down a little. Finally, make a null named in underscore density, and that'll wrap up our input. Now make a dop net and dive inside. So drop a pyro solver, smoke object, and a volume source nodes, and hook them up like this. In the volume source, find our in density node, and click the plus three times to bring in our different attributes. So you'll type in density in the source volume, and copy that into the target field below. And now just do the same for temperature and for vel. For vel though, change the rank to vector. Now go to the smoke object and expand the bounding box a bit. And if you hit play, you can see that the sim just gets cut off. So there's a node that'll actually recalculate the bounding box so that it'll grow with our simulation. And that's called gas resize fluid dynamic. So drop that and hook it into the pre-solve. Head up this max bounds tab and uncheck clamp to max and slide up this delay frames to just one. Now if you hit play, you can see we've got a smoke sim. I'm going to just tweak the look a little bit now, so I'm going to go bring the buoyancy lift down to about 1.5. In the combustion tab, I'm going to disable that since we don't actually need fire happening. And in shape, I'm going to check on disturbance and turbulence. So you're definitely going to want to take the time to mess around with these individual values so you can kind of understand what they do and how they affect the look of the smoke. but for now, I'm just going to set the disturbance and the dissipation both to 0.05 and set the turbulence to 0.075. Now, if you hit play, that's, that's looking good, like in the look of this sim. So the last thing I'm going to do here is go to the smoke object and set the division size to 0.15 just so that we get a little bit more detail in the sim. And that's that. So just pop back out and drop a dop IO node 
naming it smoke. So grab the dot net first, and then inside that dot net, link it to the smoke object. Now go into the presets, and you can change that to smoke. And we've got our sim in the viewport. Now make a pop net attached to the sphere, and we're gonna get the particles going. So drop inside and create a pop advect by volume node. Here, reference in that smoke import node, and force is the correct type. You're just gonna crank that air resistance up to 10 and hit play. And you can see that we now have our particles moving with the smoke that we did. Um, one thing, I'm just gonna quickly add zero to the amount of particles that we have to give it 10 times as many. And that's that's the effect that we're going for. So the real key to this when it comes to actually building this and rendering it is just doing a ton of particles with a very small scale each. In my example, I had the birth rate set at a million, but honestly, you'd want to do even more than that if you're going for like a real photo look, photo realistic look. So there you have it. Mess around with the values in the smoke sim for different looks. Uh, if there's any effects you'd like to see tutorials for in the future, please send them in the comments. The project files for this are up on the site. Hope you enjoyed this one, and until next time.